Americans have been celebrating and shedding a few tears about the completion of the space shuttle program. Among those watching the shuttle's final mission was one of America's leading artists who played a part in recording shuttle history. New Center's Don Carrigan reports. I was just thrilled to be able to see this launch. Port Clyde is a long way from Cape Canaveral, but they are both part of the world of artist Barbara Ernst Prey. Prey's watercolor work with its strong colors and images of Maine has become known around the world, which is why she got a call in 2002 from NASA to help document America's space program. I had known about the program because I'd watched the first man walk on the moon, so in my generation, NASA really was prominent, and you know, astronauts were heroes in some ways. Prey was first hired by NASA to do a painting of the International Space Station before it was even built. That led to the space shuttle and an even deeper involvement in the space program. The result was this dramatic painting as a tribute to the shuttle Columbia and its astronauts. And this was the point at takeoff when all the astronauts were inside and they were, had realized all the hard work and their hopes and their dreams. So I tried to make this a very positive. Um, you can see the colors are really strong. There's a lot of energy in the takeoff. And then an even more striking painting of the shuttle Discovery taking the country back into space after a long absence. Prey was inspired by the thrill of seeing a launch in person. The final liftoff of Atlantis. Just to see it um, really made, helped me decide how I was going to paint it because you had the, the noise, the earth shakes. It's so awesome and exciting to see. And now, after so many thrilling launches and important missions, the shuttle program is over. The launch pads will be quiet until something new comes along. Prey says she is sad about that, but believes both she and the country have been inspired by the shuttle and will continue to be. Or someone was just in the gallery um, a couple of days ago and their son wants to be an astronaut and he's six years old. So I think, um, the, and I think that that's what I tried to convey in this painting. It's really the hopes and the aspirations. Prey says she is grateful that her art will always be part of that legacy. In Port Clyde, Don Kerrigan, News Center. Barbara Ernst Prey has completed four paintings for NASA so far. The most recent is of the X-43 experimental aircraft, which flies ten times the speed of...